So this is an over-the-head camera rig made by Newer. It's $125 on Amazon, and if you don't want to do all of the work that I'm about to do, go ahead, use the affiliate link down below to go and purchase that. I um, would rather build one for cheaper, and this video is going to be me showing you guys how to build one by me pretending to know what I'm doing. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Ben. I make videos and vlogs about photography and tech. If that is something that you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button. Consider joining the family. We are currently 60 subscribers away from 1,000, which is really awesome. So this is the toolbox. If you guys are familiar with the channel, I usually say let's go to the toolbox and we do unboxings or I talk about EDC or what's in my camera bag or stuff like that. And uh, a little behind the scenes, uh, this is how I've been filming the overhead shots lately. It is with this singular arm with this Canon T6i mounted right here. And it gets the job done. It does exactly what I need it to do. The only thing is, is it is very wobbly, right? It makes everything kind of shake, especially when I go to adjust the camera lens to zoom in and out. And it's also fallen a couple of times. And when it falls, it falls directly on the lens. And um, I don't know about you, but Injuring camera equipment is not something that I enjoy to watch. I decided that I was going to make an overhead camera rig myself. These are the plans. These are the plans. Pause the video if you would like. Basically, I went to the local hardware store, picked up some PVC pipe, and I'm gonna build my own. Let's see how this goes. Currently, the area that we have to work with is about 24 inches is what I'm going to call it. That way we have a little bit of a gap. And we'll call that 46. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't work, I guess I'll just purchase a one on Amazon, I guess. I just recorded an entire clip on this camera and I just realized it didn't record. That's sad. So we got two 20 inch pieces, two 42 inch pieces, two 36 inch pieces, and now I have to cut a couple of eight inch pieces, I think. So now we're gonna cut the 20 inches into a six, eight, and six section. And we're gonna put T's on each of those sections to combine them. This is to help the bracing of the uh, 36 or 32 inch piece uh, for the height. You guys are probably wondering, Ben, you have a perfectly good toolbox and workbench in your bedroom. Why are you working out here on the floor? Well, you're thinking logically and you need to stop. All right, so we added the T's in between the 42 inchers like this. Right, so now this is gonna be the top. So these two are gonna get connected in the middle as well as on the edges there. And that is how that's gonna work. Or maybe not. We'll find out. What follows is a brief construction montage.
Okay, so I miscalculated the amount of um, corner bits and tees and all that stuff that I was going to need. So trip to the hardware store is warranted, but I'm going to cut up all of this pipe really quick. And um, we'll return the extra pipe when we get there to pick up everything else, as well as some black spray paint. Because you know, because it's film gear, it definitely, definitely has to be black. All right, we're back from the local unnamed orange hardware store. Okay, so we're going to make an amendment to the, uh, to the rig. Let me show you what's going on. I underestimated the length. So we're falling off on this side a little bit, and we are just on the edge on this side. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten up the length on top here just by probably about an inch. I bought these rubber feet right here. And what I'm gonna do is, is I also got some elbows and I'm going to put the elbows on, cut another piece and put these rubber feet on the bottom. That way, when we put it down on the table, it won't like slide around. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Awesome. So because the top part was not structurally sound, it was kind of bending in the middle. Talked it over with dad, and I think we're gonna throw this wooden dowel on the inside, have it slide right in, give it a little bit more of an extra stability, I guess you would call it. But now that I got this in here, I need to cut off right about here with a saw. So that's fun. Unfortunately, we can't use a pipe cutter to cut wood. So, let's go to the garage. Hi, welcome to my garage. This is my water heater. This is a workbench. Now you guys are probably wondering, Ben, why didn't you just build this out in the garage instead of the middle of your living room where you have a perfectly good workbench? Well, now you guys are thinking logically. I know somewhere in here is a saw. Whether this is a right saw or not is a complete and total mystery. Let's try it. There's gotta be another saw. This is more like it. Good stuff. <laughs> Who knew that this much manual labor was gonna go into this? Not me. All right, welcome back in the living room. Let's finish this up because I'm getting really tired. It's kind of humid. Although I live in California and other people are probably more humid than me. If I measured this correctly, this should slide right on in. If you don't have a hammer, use your hand. Oh yeah, yeah, that's way better. More structurally sound. I almost can feel like I can lean on it, but I won't. Cause I don't want to die. Let's try this out. Oh yeah. We're a little taller than I was thinking of. Well, you guys can't even see it. Look at this. We're a little bit taller than I thought we were going to be, but I think, I think this will work. Let's hang a camera from it. There we go. Wow. You know what y'all? I think that'll work. I can stick the external monitor right here and I can bring this around. And do that. Huh, got myself a nice little nice little thing going on here. I don't think I'm gonna paint this today. I think I might wait until tomorrow to do this. Early the next morning. Welcome to the next morning. Hope you all slept well. I did. Welcome to the backyard. I made up a makeshift table. Come over here. Let's let's take a look. So I got this paper down so that I don't mess anything up. And uh, we're going to get to painting. I think I'm just going to paint it in sections. So we have to uh, first sand the pieces that we're going to be painting.
You don't have to sand it too much. You just gotta get it to where it's not shiny anymore. This is gonna take a while, so I think I'm just gonna stop the video. Come back to y'all in a minute. A little longer than a few minutes later. Now that we're done sanding, I'm gonna go ahead and take this damp rag, and I'm just gonna wipe off all of the PVC pipe to get that uh, white dust off. If it's got that dust on it, it's just gonna stick to the dust and the dust is gonna come off, which in turn will make the paint come off. So, we're just gonna give it a good wipe down it doesn't have to be a wet cloth, just a damp cloth. I'm using a, a damp paper towel that I wet in the sink and then uh, wrung it out a little bit. So let me know if you guys like these like DIY project videos because this is quite fun and uh, for me at least. Now I bought this really cool thing um, at the Orange Hardware Store and it's supposed to make it easier to like spray. And because I do a lot of like plasti dipping and uh, all that stuff to get rid of chrome on my truck, I figured that this would be a good investment to make uh, so that, you know, I don't get a hand cramp or something. Give it a good, give it a good shake. Gotta switch hands. This is the spray thing, so I guess you just pinch these two sides and it opens that up and that's what clamps over the spray can so like that I'm not gonna spray the spray the camera but you press down and it pushes that down for you let's try it out yeah it's a little harder to judge when the paint's gonna come out but I could get used to this I can do this all with one can I really don't want to go back to the store so let's wait for this to dry and then uh, we'll come back hi um, it is much much later in the day um, the last time I was out here on camera was about 10 o'clock in the morning and it is now 7 o'clock the day kind of got away from me it shouldn't take you as long as it took me, but I had a lot of things I needed to do and everything like that. But this is all painted black now. So let me go ahead and attach everything together and we'll, uh, we'll finish this up. Okay, one thing that I did off camera that you guys didn't see was I put some of this stuff on some of the joints uh, to glue everything together. This is red hot blue glue. It's used to uh, basically glue PVC pipe together. Plumbers use it all the time. And I used this in certain areas that I felt were a little too loose. So right here in this joint, this was too loose. It kept popping out. So I just added some of the blue glue there. I'm gonna add even more blue glue here. So some of these parts are just a little bit too loose for my liking. And because I have something so valuable like a camera, um, being attached to it. I want to make sure that it's going to be uh, safe. So I add some of this blue glue onto it. If you guys have never worked with this stuff before, don't get it on your hands. Um, it is quite, uh, it's, well, one, it, it stains pretty good. And also it dries very, very quickly. Coat the inside of the pipe with this glue here. Make sure you're of the right orientation here. You just kind of push it on as far as you can get it. Now again, that part is not actually necessary. You don't really need to do that, but I did. The only parts that I didn't add glue to are right here on the corner bits to where it connects to the legs so that I can pull this top part off and fold it against itself and that way it's easier to store. So now that we got that all squared away, I can go ahead and connect all the parts together and we should be good to go. All right, so uh, let's go take it inside, get some cool shots of it done. There we go. 
Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and link schematics to uh, this build in the description down below. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for how to make this build even better, please leave it in the comment section down below. We are almost to 1,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you like this video, give it a like. If you uh, want to see more of my content, uh, subscribe. And uh, that'll be it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay classy. Bye.